Hello. In this section, we're going to be covering the history of quality management. Now, don't get put off by thinking that we're going to be going back to school or that I'm going to be giving long, boring lessons with me droning on about various epochs and the new quality influence of construction and manufacturing, even though I think that could be quite interesting, but no. More precisely, we're going to be looking at how quality has evolved through the ages from a subjective personal set of requirements that a customer would expect to a methodical standardised approach to how quality is managed. Like I said, we're not going to be going way back in history, but look at the past couple of hundred years and how a customer would be assured a quality workmanship by employing somebody who had attained membership to one of the guilds. In the Deming lesson, we're going to be looking at how the scientific method led to TQM, or Total Quality Management Movement. We'll also look at how quality management has transformed a whole country that had been completely decimated after the Second World War and had a reputation for producing shoddy products to becoming a world leader in producing quality products in just a short number of years. Finally, we'll be looking at the evolution of quality and the steady progress from general inspections of quality through to a formalised international management standard. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> 